Good morning. We're going to do a projectile motion problem with the salmon jumping upstream. So here is here is my salmon jumping upstream. Let's finish labeling this uh, this problem. Uh, it says starting two meters from the water. That would go here, two meters from the waterfall, and the waterfall is just a little bit bigger than half a meter. So it's 0.55 meters. And these fish have to jump up upstream to get to where they're going. And this is 32 degree angle. And the question wants you to find the initial velocity of the fish. Okay. So to do this problem, we will be using this top equation here with the green dot next to it. And we'll be solving for VI in this problem. That's our goal. And usually we're solving for delta y. We're finding out how, you know, where this fish winds up. But in this case, we're figuring out uh, the speed of the fish when it gets to that point. To use the top green dotted formula, we have to figure out what the time is. So to get the time, we can easily manipulate this equation by seeing how long it takes an object to fall 0.55 meters. So if we go like this, if we use this equation here first and say delta, I'll rewrite it, delta y equals one half gt squared. So uh, 0.55 equals one half 9.81 t squared. So what we're going to do here, we have everything but t squared, so we're going to solve for t. Uh, we'll do half of 9.81 which is uh, 4. Point, um, it's like 4.905 I believe t squared and this is 0.55 is that right Point 0.9 let me check that 0.81 divided by 2 it's 4.905 so we'll divide by 4.905 and t squared will equal 0.55 divided by 4.9095, which is 0.112, and I think we can chop it at that. Uh, but that's t squared. So now we have to square root both sides. This is going to become slightly bigger. So the square root of that answer will be 0.33, 0 0.33 seconds. Now, what is this? This is the time it takes an object to fall straight down. So if you took your pencil, raised it up 0.55 meters off the ground, and dropped it, it would take 0.33 seconds to hit the ground. That's all that means. But this is a component for a fish jumping up that height. So what we do now is take this, this height, and the rest of this information, your 0.55, and plug it all into this thing. Okay, so I'm going to have to fade this off the screen, except I'm going to get rid of my, uh, let me get clever here. There we go. And we'll redo v or uh, delta y equals vi sine theta t minus one half g t squared okay so now let's plug everything in so our delta y is going to be 0.55 our initial velocity we do not know that's what we're going to solve for. Let me make that like pink so that sticks out. That's our goal there. Times the sine of our angle, which is 32 degrees, times the time, which we found. Uh, and that was 0 0.33 seconds. If I remember right. Let me double check that. Yep, 0 0.33 seconds. And then minus... 
one half gt squared well let's use info here we just did that um actually we didn't never mind that's one half <clears throat> 9.81 times, oh, I'm running out of room, times, let me cheat just a little bit, <laughs> move this over slightly, times 0.33 squared. Okay, now I'm going to pause this and work these out. I'll be right back. Okay, so now I have all these multiplied out. So this is the right side of that. All that worked out. And then the sine of 32 times 0.33. Just a note there. When you do this, do not just type this left to right. Do sine 32 equals times 0.33. Otherwise, your calculator is going to think you're wanting a different angle. All right. So from here, basic algebra. We're going to add 0.534. Lots of decimals plus 0.534 over here. And that's going to be on the right side, VI times 0 0.175. And on the other side, that is going to be what? Uh, 1 point z uh, 0 0.08. zero eight four all right next step this is just like you know i'm going to erase this but it would be like eight equals two x you just divide by two okay that that's this problem now no biggie divide by point one seven five on both sides so we're dividing a small number by a really small number so we should get a sizable answer here for its speed and uh, let's do that. So 1.084 divided by 0.175 is about 6.19. So maybe 6.2 meters per second would be the fish speed. And let's check that. And that's exactly right. This is how you would figure out a problem involving when you don't have a velocity. All right. You have a final.